There's a chance that you have entirely the wrong impression about camping. I see this time and time again. People think that you have to look a certain way, act a certain way, know everything about the outdoors, know how to start a fire with just your hands, and have a rooftop tent or a full-size camper to go camping on day one. But in this video, I'm going to bust five myths that I always hear about camping. So let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel everyone, my name is Matt Zeffi, I do camping and overlanding adventure videos as well as gear review videos. Alright, let me put my coffee down before I get started. Alright, starting with number one, I hear this all the time. It's one of the main reasons that some of my friends actually don't want or like to go camping, and it's because of the bugs. And this is a myth because oftentimes I'm camping in seasons where it's not actually that buggy, and also, if I'm camping and there's bugs around, I'll just go to a different area. And when I'm sleeping, I'm someone who kind of keeps my tent in tip-top shape, which is something I recommend to avoid bugs at all costs. So that I always have the screen door closed, and I never have really any encounters with bugs. And like I said, as long as you're camping in a season when it's not that buggy, carry bug spray, it is never an issue. I'm not someone who likes bugs. In fact, I try and avoid it at all costs, and I still very much enjoy camping and have no problem with the bugs. I'm also friggin' dying of heat, but the bugs are crazy, so I'm sticking near the fire. The only time I did have an encounter where I was really having difficulty with the bugs was on the extreme end when I was traveling in the Amazon rainforest for work. Now, the bugs were not that great there. I will say that my first day there, my hotel room actually, it was a lodge, and it had bugs all around the bed, and I slept fully clothed and with a net on my face. Kind of extreme, I know, but I just really don't like bugs. So with all that said, camping here at home back in the States, I never really have encounters with bugs in a way that prevents me from camping. So let's consider that myth busted. Myth number two, this is another huge one all the time that I hear, and that is that you need all of the gear on day one. Assuming you're going with some camping friends, it's always the case that somebody probably has an extra tent or, you know, whatever really you need. If you need an extra camping chair, somebody always seems to have it. It's that thought that you need everything on day one that's going to slow you down and prevent you from actually getting out to go camping. My recommendation to you is also you can rent things from places. REI also has a used section that you can check out for used gear. But I've always recommended the best way to kind of get into camping is to get those basics, you know, your tent, your tent. You just get those basic items and get out there and go camping and you'll figure out what you need along the way. That doesn't mean you want to forget things like water and food and your shelter, but all those extra items that are maybe a little bit more superfluous on day one, you'll figure out along the way. So you don't need all of your gear on day one. That myth is busted. Number three is thinking that going camping always has to be roughing it. In many cases, some people have these elaborate setups where it's not roughing it at all. Some people have massive RV vans or these beautiful van lifers with their amazing vans and everything inside them. And if you're like me and you have a Jeep with a rooftop tent on it, I don't find it to be roughing it at all except maybe when there's no showers immediately available on that day. And in many cases, going camping doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be sleeping on the ground. You can bring, I've seen air mattresses that are just as good as somebody sleeping over your house and you bring that air mattress out camping with you as long as it fits in your tent. There's sleeping pads that are incredibly comfortable. So it doesn't mean that going camping means that you're gonna be literally sleeping on the dirt floor. And there's extremes on both ends. There's people that bring their entire house with them and there's people that are quite literally just sleeping cowboy camping with their sleeping bag on a dirt floor basically. So it's everything in between that, it's your experience and you kind of morph to it. So let's consider that myth busted. Now number four, I hear this one quite often as well, thinking that you only have to eat cold food camping. I don't know where this idea comes from because we have stoves, we have propane stoves, everybody has a jet boil and if you're camping with many of our friends, we all have these elaborate camping stoves as well. I always carry one in my Jeep in my more ride trail kitchen and i love carrying a full stove with me as well as a refrigerator so not only are we not taking you know just granola bars we also have elaborate meals and i don't even have to pack ice into that refrigerator chest so i always am preparing i eat almost the same on the road as i do at home i'm cooking steaks sometimes 
I'm cooking eggs and bacon for breakfast. I have milk with my coffee. So honestly, going out camping, especially with those things that you can bring along with you when you have an ice cooler and a propane stove, there's really no difference between being home and being out in nature. Can't you just, why can't you just accept it? Go work on your fancy stove. It's old school. A little crooked. So this is, this is a pan. You got a nice ribeye. I don't think that camping is just gonna be you living off cold food for a few days. It can really, again, be whatever experience you want to get out of it. If you're like me and you're cooking elaborate meals along with some of my friends, especially if you have a group with you where everybody's kind of doing a potluck sort of scenario, that's going to be the best bet. So consider that myth absolutely busted, especially because some of the best meals I've had were on the road. And there's nothing quite like being out in nature. Maybe you're on a mountaintop or something and getting to enjoy a wonderful meal. And the fifth myth is thinking that you have to be ridiculously remote. It doesn't mean that you have to be in the middle of nowhere if you're going camping. Sometimes you're camping where there's 10 minutes down the road or 15 minutes down the road is the nearest city and you can actually go back and grab groceries. So camping doesn't always mean that you're in the middle of the Alaskan wilderness and there's no one for 20 miles. That's my personal favorite, but Oftentimes, if you're just getting into camping, or even if you're just going for a weekend getaway from the city, doesn't always mean that camping has to be in the most remote areas. So consider that myth busted. All right, number six, I know this is a bonus one, but I had to throw it in there. The biggest myth, one of the biggest myths is that thinking that you have to look a certain way, you have to act a certain way. Going camping doesn't mean that you have to be decked out in Patagonia and wearing Chacos all the time or know everything about the outdoors on day one. You don't have to hike all of the 46 peaks in the Adirondacks or have summited Half Dome. Going camping is more about getting close with nature, saving a little money on hotel costs, and also just kind of being out there with some good people, eating some good food in the great outdoors. But I hope that clears up some of the many myths that we all hear time and time again about camping. But what are some of the myths that you hear about camping? Drop them in the comments down below. I would love to see it. If you have any questions, also drop those in the comments. And if you got anything out of this video or you just enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you out there on the road.